Hi, my name is Benjamin Chan. I'm a third year student doctor. Can I just get your name and your date of birth, please? Uh, my name is Amin and date of birth is December 14th, 1999. Great, hi Amin. So today I've been asked to do an examination of the cranial nerves, 7 through 12. So this will involve me uh, having a look at your face, making you do some actions, and performing some small testing. Would that be alright with you? Yeah. Okay, before we begin, do you have any questions? No. Are you in pain? No. Alright, we'll begin. So the first nerve that I'll be testing is your facial nerve. So first, I'm just going to take a look at your face, just relax. So I'm looking for any absence of the forehead wrinkles, loss of the nasal label folds, and I... So now I'm just going to ask you to do a few quick exercises. Can you just do this for me? Alright, I'm going to press down on them. Don't... On your forehead, don't let me. That's very good. Alright, you can relax your forehead now. Can you just do this for your eyes? Okay, I'm going to try and open them. Don't let me. That's good. Okay, you can open your eyes now. Right. You know, can you puff out your cheeks like this? Okay, I'm going to press down your cheeks. Don't let me puff, uh, burst them. That's fine. Can you just show me your teeth? Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Um, so, I mean, I'm just going to ask you a few quick questions. Have you noticed any change in your hearing recently? Have loud, particularly loud noises being particularly painful? No. Okay. How is your sense of taste? Any changes recently? No. Okay. I'm just going to do a quick uh, test for your sense of taste. Just going to be putting a bit of this onto your tongue. Tell me what it tastes like. All right. Okay. You just take your tongue like that. Uh, excellent. Okay. So tell me what you taste. Uh, citrus. Oh uh, yeah. That's fine. Okay. So facial enough, taste intact, and no no impact on hearing. So that's fine. Next nerve, your vestibular cochlear nerve. I'll be today. I'll just be examining the hearing part of it. So I'll be standing behind you. So I'm just going to cover your ear right now. Just relax. Okay, can you hear this? Yep. Okay, I'm going to whisper two numbers, alright? Just repeat them after me. 99. 100. Okay. Cover your ears again. Can you hear this? Yep. Alright, go whisper the numbers again. 100. 69. Okay, good. So that. Test just your hearing. So now I'm going to be uh, performing a fine test on you. So I'll be putting this onto your, well, to the side of your head, and then I'm asking you to do to some questions, alright? Okay. okay, so. Okay, so. Can you hear this? Yeah. Okay, tell me when you can't hear it anymore. Okay, I can't hear you anymore. Can you still hear it? Yep. Okay, that's good. Repeat that the other side. Okay. Can you still hear it? Yep. Okay. You still hear something? Yeah. Okay. So the price test is normal. Okay. Now I'll be performing a test testing you. So just be hitting this and putting it on your forehead. Okay. And just ask you what you hear, alright? So okay. next. Do you hear something? Yep. Okay, do this do you hear it stronger in any ear? No. Okay. Does it sound softer in any ear? No. Okay, that's fine. So, Weber's test is normal. You get obstructive deafness, you have heard it louder in the affected ear. You get nerve deafness, you have heard it softer in the affected ear. Okay. So that's done for vestibular cochlear. Okay. So now I'll just be examining your glossopharyngeal and your vagus nerves, alright? Okay. So, could I just get you to open your mouth and say, ah? Ah. Uh. Okay. I'm just going to use the tongue depressor because uh, just get a bit of view of the back of your throat, alright? Just say ah. Alright. All right. I don't see any wasting of the soft palate. I don't see any deviation of the uvula. Does any uh, damage to the glossopharyngeal nerve? You're expecting the wasting to be contralateral 
to the point of the lesion. So that's fine. I just ask, uh, you just, uh, any change in your voice recently? No. No, okay. So if there's any vagus, vagal damage, so we might have add some uh, hoarseness of the voice. Let's get you to swallow this. Alright. Was there any difficulty in swallowing? No. Nope. Okay, great. Uh, since we your mouth, can you just take out your tongue now? Okay, I'm just going to take a look at the tongue itself, which I neglected to do. Okay, that's fine. So now I'm skipping ahead to the hypoglossal nerve. So if there's any damage, we'll be looking for wasting of the tongue towards the side of the lesion. So ipsilateral. That's what that was for wasting. I'm just test for power now. Put my hands in your cheek, all right? Okay. Okay, in case. Uh, push your tongue against my hand. It's fine. Can you push your tongue against my hand? Yeah, that's good too. Okay. So, hypoglossal power is 5 out of 5, that's fine. So, now I'll just be doing the last one, which is the accessory nerve. For this test, okay. First, let's get you to shrug your shoulders up. That's good. Okay. Okay, relax. Okay. Just so put my hand here on your right. Can you just turn your head towards my hand? Harder. That's fine. Okay. Again on the left, can you turn? Good. Excellent. Okay, so I just tested the accessory nerve, which has two roots. So when I tested the trapezius shrugging, that was to test the spinal cord root of the accessory nerve. And then when he turned, for I was testing sternoclastomastoid, and that is your, um, what you call it? That's your cranial nerve root. So both were intact. Right. Right. So I'm in thank for time. I'll come to the end of the examination. Do you have any questions for me? No. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So today I performed the cranial nerve exam on one Amin, a 19-year-old male. I examined his cranial nerve 7 through 12. I noted no uh, peripheral stigmata and no signs of any pathophysiology. To complete this exam, I would like to perform a cranial nerve exam on the remaining nerves 1 through 6. I also like to perform an upper and lower peripheral nerve first exam.